Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for refusing to wear contacts at my cousin's wedding. My cousin 19F is getting married in a couple of weeks and I'm the maid of honor. We've grown up together and have been through thick and thin. She's like the big sister I never had. When I was in third grade and started wearing glasses because I couldn't see far, she was the first person to tell me I looked great in them. I was insecure about how I looked, and she said we could match since she wore glasses too. Fast forward to today, I went over to my cousin's and her soon-to-be wife's, 25F house, to go over the final details for the wedding. We started talking about the wedding photos, and Jordan, my cousin's fiancé, told me that I should take off my glasses for the wedding and wear contacts. She said she didn't want my glasses to ruin the wedding pictures, and that I'd look like an outcast if I was the only one wearing them. I was pretty shocked. I've always worn my glasses, and I don't want to use contacts because they're a hassle and I'm forgetful. I told Jordan I wasn't comfortable with that, and explained that contacts cost money, and I'd rather stick with my glasses. Jordan said I was being unreasonable, and that my cousin was wearing contacts for the wedding, so I should be a good cousin and not mess up the wedding photos. Otherwise, she said she'd tell my cousin to remove me from the wedding, and I could just attend as a guest. It really hurt to hear that. I know my cousin wouldn't mind if I wore my glasses, so I'm asking for advice here. Would I be the bad guy if I don't wear contacts to the wedding? Should I tell my cousin about this conversation with Jordan? My cousin wasn't there when this happened. She went out to get some food for us. Please help me out, thank you. Edit, hey everyone. I didn't expect this post to get so much attention, but I want to clarify a few things. 1. Yes, Jordan wants me to take off my glasses for the wedding photos. I told her I could just remove them for the photos, but she insisted I needed to wear contacts or she'd tell my cousin to drop me from the wedding. She said it would look off if I was seen with glasses in some pictures and without them in others, and that it wouldn't look natural. 2. Some people think this is my cousin's idea, but it's not. She wasn't there when this conversation happened. My cousin also wears glasses, but Jordan convinced her to get contacts so she would look more natural for the wedding. 3. I'm not trying to ruin my cousin's relationship. Jordan was nice to me before this, and my cousin seems deeply in love with her. I never imagined doing anything to hurt my cousin. Things started changing when my cousin asked me to be her maid of honor, but I figured it was just the stress of wedding planning. Update? On Saturday, my cousin called me and said she wanted to talk about something. I decided it was the right time to tell her everything that happened with Jordan. We met at a park near our grandparents' house. When I got there, she was waiting, and the mood was tense. We sat down, and after a few moments of silence, my cousin started crying and asked why I wanted to drop out of the wedding and no longer be her maid of honor. I was shocked, because I never said I wanted to drop out or stop being her maid of honor as she continued asking questions about whether I still loved her, if I had missed wedding events, and if I no longer valued our relationship, I tried to calm her down. I explained that I never said I wanted out of the wedding, and that I do love her and value everything we've been through. For context, my cousin was there for me during a tough time with my toxic ex, and I was there for her when she tried to overdose. We've been through a lot together. As I was explaining, I started crying because I couldn't understand why she thought I wanted out of the wedding. It turned out Jordan had told her that I didn't want to be involved and had missed events like a barbecue and a weekend trip to Arizona, which I knew nothing about. I showed my cousin my messages with Jordan in the group chat, and there was no mention of these events or me wanting to drop out. My cousin was surprised and started asking more questions. I told her the last time I spoke with Jordan was when she insisted I wore contacts. I explained Jordan's threats and showed my cousin the post I made. My cousin was furious. She said she couldn't care less if I wore glasses. It's part of who I am. She was upset that Jordan made such demands. Later that night, Jordan called me, crying and yelling that I was ruining her wedding and being selfish. I hung up, and soon after, my cousin texted me to come over to her house immediately. When I arrived, the place was a mess. Stuff thrown around, broken paintings and glass everywhere. Jordan was there, still crying and yelling. My cousin had to tell Jordan to be quiet, and then everything came out in the open. 
Jordan admitted she hated how close my cousin and I were and had been lying to my cousin to make her dislike me. She wanted to separate my cousin from her family, to have her all to herself. Jordan even screamed, How the hell am I supposed to know you don't like her? No cousins are that close. My cousin responded, This is in Alabama, you crazy bitch. She's my cousin. We grew up together. She was there for me when I was dying. Where the hell were you? After that, the night was a blur. I was exhausted and just wanted to go home. My cousin came with me, and she's been staying with me since then. Jordan has been bombarding both of our phones with messages asking for forgiveness and another chance. I told my cousin that if she wants to proceed with the wedding, it's her decision. I know they've been together for four years, so I understand it's hard to end things. Jordan has even gone as far as stalking and breaking into my cousin's house. My cousin's house is one of several built by my grandfather, who gifted it to her for graduating college. When my cousin kicked Jordan out, she went into a frenzy, screaming, throwing things, and making threats. Eventually, my cousin had to call Jordan's parents and siblings to come get her. They tried to reason with my cousin, but she had already changed the locks and installed security cameras. Now, my cousin is slowly getting back to her life. She changed her number due to Jordan's harassment and found air tags in her car, which we jokingly put on stray animals. Jordan has continued to try everything to win my cousin back, including trying to break into her house during a family trip to Canada. This led to a restraining order. Amid all this chaos, some good things have happened. I'm now an aunt. My brother and his girlfriend had a baby, and I've been helping out with the baby and settling into my role as an aunt, I feel old. And guess what? A wedding did happen, but not for my cousin and Jordan, it was for my grandparents. They renewed their vows on their anniversary. My cousin decided to give the wedding details to my grandparents, since it was already paid for. It was a beautiful ceremony, with my grandma wearing the wedding dress she first wore when marrying my grandfather. It was a heartfelt event, full of tears and celebration. My cousin and I have grown even closer through all of this. I still feel guilty and responsible for the drama, especially since my cousin still loves Jordan despite everything. It hurts to see her put on a brave face while she sat inside. I never expected something as small as glasses versus contacts to reveal so much. My cousin says I helped her dodge a major bullet and that everything happens for a reason. We're slowly moving forward, and the new baby is adorable. Sorry if this has been a long read. Things will get better, and my cousin thanks everyone for the advice. She'll use it when she starts dating again, though she says not anytime soon.